Today, we're gonna to take you on a journey of building a toilet. We are working on a bus conversion for our 2015 shuttle bus, and we're building a getaway bus. And what that means is we just want a bus to go on like outings and little getaways away from the property and whatever we feel like doing. So we thought it'd be great to put a toilet in the bus because toilets are handy. We built a toilet, but so far, all we did was build a box. So we more or less built a frame, cut out a toilet top, stained it blue, really nice, and then we built a countertop around it. But now it's time to finish the toilet, which means the inside. Now we're building a dry toilet. So instead of water, we're using sawdust or dry earth or ashes. You could use a number of things. We'll mostly, most likely be using sawdust. It's a really efficient, sanitary, off-grid type toilet that can go anywhere. So that's what we're building. The system is gonna use a five gallon bucket. It's basically a fancy five gallon bucket toilet. Yeah. So our goal today is to make a drawer that can go into our toilet cabinet to hold a five gallon bucket. A lot of people make it so you can lift the lid to pull the bucket out. That's too much work for me. So I'm gonna make a slide out drawer. Toilet bucket goes in it. It can slide in and out and Maybe we'll add a few more details in there. So let's get started.
I'm liking how this is looking and working. So the bucket goes there and this is a step because we have little people that need to use the toilet and this is gonna make it so much easier. Because let's face it, our toilet and our bus is a little high. I made it too tall because it's just to wear everything laid out to make other things make sense. And also, I don't know if you guys know this, but it's actually healthier to sit on a short toilet. The taller your toilet, the actually the more difficult it is for your body to do what it needs to do healthily. So a lot of people recommend sitting on a low toilet or elevating your feet. So this could be helpful for everybody for a healthier toilet time. Sitting in a chair position isn't the best position to use the bathroom, basically. You can look that up in more detail if you want, but that's why they sell products like the Squatty Potty and other brands do that too. And it basically allows you to put your feet up higher so you're in a more natural position to use the toilet. But um, this is gonna be really cool. If it holds our weight, we're gonna have to see if it works. So I'm not sure how much weight it'll hold, but we got these swivel hinges and then it swivels, it hits this wood stop. The end grain is gonna help not compress as easily and should hold its shape over time. And it should be able to hold a fair amount of weight, but we will see, we will see. Wow, so I'm out here just finishing up this drawer for our dry earth toilet. And it's coming out really good. Totally happy with it. You guys saw me just stain it. I also put a coat of shellac on it, actually a couple of coats. Uh, it could use some sanding down to smooth out the finish, but it's more or less done. And I just did one final upgrade, which I'm gonna show you guys, which is, check this out, looking good, but it's not falling anymore. What I did was, I put a little magnetic latch right there, so it just stays. And it's got some good holding power, but if you push on it on the bottom, you can tilt it out, and that's pretty flush. I routed it in. So you can see, I did the same thing here as I did over here. I just took a half inch router bit, and just flush set that into the plastic. Mounted an inexpensive magnetic latch up here. Done. He likes you. So now I think it's finally ready to install in the bus. So let's get the drawer slides on it and get it installed. Here's the toilet so far as we have it built. Basically, just a seat on a hole in the counter. So now I gotta install these soft glide drawer slides right down here. Since there's so little space in here, I don't know if I'm gonna show this, but I'll, I'll give you the before and after at least. I took my time and I got these drawer slides squared up the best I could because my frame isn't exactly square, so I had to shim them out. It should work, so let's test it out. Okay. It feels like it's working. I don't feel any tight spots, so this should be pretty square and pretty straight. So the toilet is actually really coming together. I'm liking how this is looking. It actually looks like a unit that's set in. Should be able to just tilt that down. And there's the footrest slash step to get up there. So let's see how the bucket fits in here. 
So if I lined everything up and I measured correctly, the bucket will sit into the slot. It'll fit under here. Look at these clearances. Okay. The bucket lines up perfectly. Couldn't get any better. So that's pretty awesome. And like I said, you just tilt this down again. Wow, I love these tight clearances that everything has. It just looks clean that way. Don't film this. Creak. Let me see what this feels like. Man, I'm scared to like break this on the first try here. I don't know. I mean, it's something to put your feet on. It doesn't feel that bad. It's a little springy, but it's plastic, so it flexes. Mm-hmm. It's mainly for Maverick. Mm-hmm. I was gonna have Maverick come in and see if he could climb up on this, but he's all covered in mud right now. He's playing in the dirt, so I don't wanna get a mess in here. But, success. I mean, everything lined up perfectly, and toilet is more or less done. We're gonna trim out the bottom here because it's unfinished. So here's the toilet finished off. I put a piece of wood down there and it's the same wood that came off this counter, so I used a scrap of it. Right down there to finish it off. Look how nice that looks. So we got our drawer. We can open it. We left plenty of room behind the bucket so we can put some extra supplies back there too. We could throw some extra toilet paper, maybe some bags if we're gonna be bagging the waste. So that's kind of handy. And we are done. I'm just so thrilled with how this came out. So we've been getting a lot of questions, comments, suggestions, concerns about the toilet situation. And we actually did a video about that a little bit while back. So we will link that video below. That should answer a lot of your questions or concerns about the toilet, about the placement and the system. If you want to learn more, definitely research dry earth toilets or composting toilets. A lot of great information out there. So after a lot of planning and a lot of experimenting, the toilet came out great. It, it's perfect. It's actually just as I imagined in my mind, so I'm totally happy with it. Also, one thing that we haven't gone over anywhere is where are we storing our sawdust because we're going to be using a dry material to cover our waste. I was going to build it into the counter area, but I didn't want to take up the space, so we decided to do kind of a temporary flexible system where we're going to be putting it in a plastic tote which is gonna be just one of those under the bed storage totes with the wheels on the bottom. And we're gonna fill that with sawdust and roll it right underneath our bunk beds inside the back of the bus. When we need the sawdust, we'll just roll it out, pop the lid, it'll be easy to get to, and it'll work for now. Now, if later on I can find a more permanent, better solution for the sawdust, I might change that. But for now, a simple solution works best. And so we're just putting it under the bed. So as always, we really hope you guys enjoyed the video, even if you don't like where we put our toilet or how we built our toilet. We hope that we can at least entertain and inspire. That's what we really like to do is share our life and the projects we're working on in hopes to just inspire others or just to connect and put a smile on somebody's face. So hopefully that did that. Maybe you saw some new ideas, some cool things, and mm -hmm. that's all we want. Yeah. So thanks for watching, and until next time, Take care. Bye.